Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Stolty Master. Today, I want to talk about the new character, Gina, uh, which is a fire fire mage character. Uh, uh, but the, there is a difference with my previous videos, which in this video, I won't be pulling Gina or I won't be having her in my team because I plan to save for Thomas Andre. And uh, this is my form of way of protest that they make her a fire character so yeah but uh, we'll review Gina from the test menu okay let's go to the hunter preview so basically Gina is a, a semi DPS support character and she is a gravitational magic and they make her a fire element character which is absurd in my opinion but it is what it is, I guess. Okay, so Gina uses uh, gravity magic, and she can uh, stop enemy with her gravity magic, basically. And she apparently also heal with gravitational magic, which is kind of ridiculous. Okay, either way, let's go to the test. Okay, we will go to the basic attack first. Her basic attack is consists of. Uh, orb attack and bunch of spears that made of f fire gravity. <laughs> okay, uh, her core attack is also the same, but it's like pulling down the enemy to the ground so they got knocked down. And then, first skill is a skill that stop enemy movement and pull them to the epic center. Okay, there you go. Halt and gravity boost. And the second skill is a charge skill, which if you press it long enough, it will consume your N uh, MP uh, over time. But the bad thing about this skill, it cannot be rotated. If only it could be rotated, the skill would be very good. And then, her ultimate skill. So her ultimate skill basically is same as her first skill, but a bigger area and it pulls the enemy to epic center uh, for as long as the duration uh, up. Alright, we'll have a free task with this one. Okay, we will round the enemy up. And then use hold. And then use hold. See, this is why it's really not good because we cannot turn, uh, rotate the laser. Okay, the boss will, will try with the ultimate. But we'll do an ultimate and then a laser. Okay. There's the ultimate. And then first skill and then a laser. This is the way you combo. Uh, because uh, at the high advancement, her ultimate will be important uh, for her combo. So basically, she revolves her ult in her ultimate also. If you want her to be a DPS. Okay, now we're, we're gonna talk about her uh let's see where's the codex okay we're gonna talk about her advancement uh gina okay so first we're gonna talk about the weapon first so the user attack increase so gina is a scale base of attack and then she recover mp for the teammate it's pretty a lot and not that much actually only 250 only like 10% of the MP pool uh, of the end game player when amount of circulation activate it increase all team member attack and fire damage by 1% so it's up to 10% so it's 10% for every fire member okay okay now her attack we'll see the max value first uh, so it's not really bad, 300% uh, is, is pretty normal. Her core also is pretty normal for the damage, right? 
Uh, the second skill also pretty normal. And her laser is really decent. Uh, it has a effect of counter current. Okay, so what does counter current? We will see in her passive after this. Uh, her support is probably one of the best uh, in terms of uh, helping Song Jin Woo to do CC and healing her, uh, healing Song Jin Woo. So this is actually pretty decent. Okay, uh, the QT is uh, pretty normal. The ultimate apparently is really big at level 10. So it also give a 3 second hold with 20 second internal cooldown and a DOT of 20% of damage dealt. Okay, now to the passive. The user uses Force Descent. Uh, force Descent is on the core. And then gravitational mass is a skill one, and the skill to our path of extinction. It activates counter current, right? Counter current basically will turn into mana circulation if you reach ten stack. Which mana circulation uh, give attack increase of fifteen percent and fire damage, fifteen percent. Okay, then. After creating gravitational effect, so in A0 only the ultimate give a gravitational field effect. As you can see here, and then this is A0, A0. And then if you use ultimate, basically if you use ultimate, Gina give a heal and power gauge to all team members. So this is A0, only gravitational field or uh, you can gain it from the ultimate. So A0 and then A1. When Mars circulation, so Mars circulation basically when counter current reaches 10 sec, right? And then it activates mana transform, which is effective to the whole member. It will increase, uh, it will give Gina and member a shield and then increase the damage by 12% and damage taken decrease by 12%. And so this A1 is pretty decent if you want to make her support, support, right? Support. Not the DPS. And then A2 increase the value of shield. So the shield become 32%. Because it said by 20%, not to 20%. So uh, it's 12% plus 20%. So 32% shield to old member. Uh, and then when the shield is up, the damage increase by 10%. So it's another damage dealt increase by 10%. So A2 is also decent for support Gina. Next the A3 when the user uses gravitational mass aka a skill one, right? Because the ultimate is liberation. So a uh, skill one gravitational mass. So now at A3 the gravitational field you can use it with skill one, not only uh, previous A0 which only ultimate that give gravitational field. And there's another effect is which is a gravity boost, right? Okay, so gravity boost increase the target fire damage second. So at A3, when you use skill one, which is gravitational field, uh, I mean gravitational mass, it will inflict a debuff on enemy, which they will take an, an extra 10% of fire damage from Jina. And the party, of course, because it's a debuff, it affects everyone. And then at A4, increase team member defense penetration by 4%. Additionally, increase the defense penetration of fire member by 4%. So it increase everyone regardless of element by 4%. Uh, and then if the team member is fire, it increase another 4%. So it's 4 for everyone and then 8 for fire member. And then A5, so you want Gina to be a pure DPS you can A5 herb but it's pretty expensive to A5 a character so at A5 when the gravitational field created so we're we're back with graf uh, gravitational field which is a skill one and uh, ultimate if you reach A5 right uh, it create a spy stem gap right so if you use skill one or ultimate 
it increases the skill damage of skill 2 which is the laser run by 60% right if the enemy have a gravity boost which is a debuff from the skill 1 at A3 it increase further by 60% because it's already guaranteed uh, if you if you have A5 this effect is already guaranteed basically your laser damage this one will increase the damage by uh, like 120% like almost double the damage uh, not almost more than double the damage uh, see, uh, 120% and then after the user uses a path of the extinction which is the laser uh, the space time uh, is cleared so it's gone it's only one time use but as long as you can spam the skill one it will affect every time because because apparently it has only 10 second cooldown and the skill one only 15 second cooldown so you have 5 minute downtime for it okay that's for Jenna skill uh, now let's talk the build for Jenna since Jenna as I explained before uh, since Jenna is mostly a uh, sub DPS support right if you are not a5 don't build her a DPS build her a semi DPS support so the only thing that good for her I'm sorry let me go to the artifact okay where's the artifact okay the artifact so if it's we're talking about armor right if we go a semi DPS you can use a four curse well, you can use four curse set because she will go a uh, semi DPS right and the armor it's one of the best option uh, for a semi DPS so for curse and then uh, for the accessory you can either go with peridot necklace uh, I mean silk blessing or peridot set which is a necklace that give elemental advantage when you use ultimate QTE or support but of course this is only effective if it's in a mode that uh, have uh, the, the the character use sport skill QT or, QT or ultimate but it's more in uh, it's more effective in QT or sport mode which is a uh, hunter mode which you can tag out tag in and then support as in Jinwoo sport because in an if it's using ultimate it has pretty long cooldown uh, but if you have four set of self blessing it can cover for one minute and then the effect will stack up to three times but it's not as effective uh, if it's on a mode that you cannot take take out tech in or uh, the character uses a support a support skill I think it's better use or uh, either blessing right blessing set because we go uh, sub DPS support Gina or let's see uh, the best way is you can also either go full DPS or more raw attack right, right raw attack for her heal or you can also use a Komari necklace this is for support but also this is only work in a tag mode if not if you want to go full support you go full 8 burning blessing set right, burning blessing 8 or 4 curse for full dps or 4 curse and then silk or 4 silk for a uh, sub dps support right or you can use a uh, 4 ultimate let's see uh, no, no not ultimate either use this Let's see, since Gina also can generate shield, you can use a palace guard, right? Guardian armor. You can also use a healing rope, like cleric rope here. 
and you can also use black lion armor just to increase your attack pull because Jina is an attack base character or you can use also a one hit kill set for the armor so the armor she have a plenty option for that but the accessory is actually pretty limited so the accessory on the the viable one is uh, for a DPS you can go curse or red eye necklace right red eye necklace increase attack so there's the two option that you can go for Jin. okay guys uh, maybe before I end this video I'm just gonna try to pull her one time but I'm not gonna try to get her I know this video is lack of gameplay but it is what it is because I'm not desire to get her anyway so yeah okay I'm gonna just try one 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 multi okay here we go it, it will be weird if I get Gina but I don't think I will get her okay I don't think I get that let's skip this okay that's all uh, the video for Gina uh, because I'm gonna save up for uh, Thomas Andre, so I'm sorry before. Uh, if only Gina is a like character, I'm probably gonna pull for her. So, yeah, thank you for watching this video. See you guys next time. And don't forget to support me at Creator Partner Program from Netmarble. You can check the description and stuff. Uh, there's a lot of things that I made. Uh, and see you guys next time. Bye bye.